is probably the only place where you're really going to be able to write about entertainment if that's your passion. Because we're an online publication, which means that we don't have to worry about getting things on the page, basically. And you only have so much space to give to entertainment unless you're Entertainment Weekly or something. And um, it basically just gives you an opportunity to get as many clips as you want, especially if you want to go into entertainment journalism in the future. My favorite event that I've ever covered is last year's Queer Prom, which is Ally's annual sort of event. It's basically for people who, in high school, didn't feel comfortable being themselves and going to prom. Like, honestly, I was one of those people. I didn't go to prom, but eventually, Queer Prom is something that we won't need because every high school will be tolerant of everyone. I started going on this website called collegefashion.net. It's just like, a site for young women who want to like be able to be stylish, fashionable, like on a budget. Pretty much stuff that every college girl has to worry about. And I just happened to see a post that was like, apply for an internship. And I was like, I'm in journalism school. I can do this. And I applied. I honestly did not think I was going to get it because, I mean, I'm not. I've never done fashion journalism before. I had no experience with any, like, anything like that. I really hadn't even done much online publishing yet. And I got it. I, yeah, I like classic things, but definitely more of a modern, but still not feminine, but not 